Hey guys! Yeah, I know I look really crazy right now, but the reason why is because I want to do a review on this wig that I got. I've already unwrapped it. This is the Sensational Custom Lace Wig. Um, it also came with like a wig cap. A lot of the reviews I see don't really include that, or at least the site I got it from, which is hairsisters.com. This was about, I think, it was like 30 something. I don't know. I didn't pay for it. It was a gift. So I got the color number 21B30. And it's a two tone ombre. Kind of so, this is what it looks like. Yeah, I've been at work all day and I've just washed my hair, had my grandma braid it down because I can't braid my own hair and that makes no sense because I just got my nails done, right? It should be easier, but you know, get at it. So this is straight. It's a yakky texture. That doesn't mean it's made of yakky hair, it's just the texture. I'm just going to quickly unleash her from her cage so you guys can see what she looks like on me. I heard you want to keep this box actually and it feels like a really, really nice, well-made box, but um, all the wig heads that I have, I mean, I'll, I'll see how it goes, but I'm not really one for boxes because like my room and my closet are way too small. Here's a tag and it tells you how to, how it's, how you can part it and what the uh, cap looks like as far as custom goes. Yeah, there's like all this... <laughs> I find it unnecessary, but I, I guess if you need it, like all this foam and stuff to keep it in a condition. But this thing, I just don't even, I don't even get what that's about. Um, yeah, and some silica. Yeah, the shipping and packaging, I, I can't complain. I just wish it had gotten here a lot sooner. Um, but Monday being Martin Luther King Day and all that, um, it just took a day extra to get here so it has two combs right here in the front a lot of people complain about that i'll see how it goes and there's one in the back and some adjustable straps so i'm just gonna put this on i'm gonna put the straps together i think or should i i don't think i have to i'm just gonna put it on without the straps see how that goes because i heard it's very comfortable without them too <laughs> um, I heard this was like layered already, but I don't see it. I think yeah, I gotta have to cut the lace off because it was just right there. But this is really nice for a um, custom wig. I'm just gonna put the back comb in because I know I have like the most problems with that one. Aside from like putting the front combs in, I don't know yet. But um, I'm just gonna brush it. I'm sorry, there's like neighbors making noises outside and my dogs are barking if you're hearing some background noise. Let's see how this goes. Or no, I don't think that works. Find the middle part again. So much hair. Yeah, I heard this was supposed to have been layered already, but mine is it doesn't seem like it is at least. And uh, it, it is, it's layered somewhat, but like, yeah, as far as the parting and things, but I like it. It's fun to play with so far. Um, I heard the downside is just like when you, you want to put this up, yeah, you see, that's why I left my my sides out, but I might not have had to, so like I'm just going to flat iron them so they blend a lot better, but I heard like this week um, when you try to, I guess, put it up in a ponytail or something, the side tabs aren't there. I know I want a side part, so something like this, and I'd be happy. I braided, I braided my hair down because I'm not one for those bumps, really. Um, I like my Lace work as natural and flat as possible, but like, yeah, this is just too long for me, so I'm just gonna cut it, like, layer it as far as the bang goes, and I'll show you guys what that looks like tomorrow. <laughs> it's too late at night to be doing all that, and you can curl it and style it from 
350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit of a flat iron or a curling iron, whatever you have. So, yeah, I can't stop playing with it. And then the back is like, oh, I need to fix the back. I can't see like what I'm doing, but yeah. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and customize this and it's going to cut the lace and style it to where it fits me <laughs> and put on some makeup and I'll see you guys the finished look. Hey guys, so this is actually a week from the last time that I recorded and why is that? Because I wanted to give a fair review on how I feel about this hair and I don't think one day is enough. So some cons. As you can see, as I'm running my fingers through this, I'm pulling out hairs or there's stray hairs just kind of stuck. So it sheds not a lot. It doesn't shed like a dog or like cheap synthetic hair. It, it still maintains its shiny texture, but it's not like too, too shiny. It's still like, I don't know if I should say silky. I don't, I don't think it's silky. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not really good at discussing like the textures and whatnot, but it's still holding it pretty nicely. When I brush it, um, this is the amount of hair that I get, so like it's it's kind of a lot and it's kind of gross, but I still maintain it just fine. I did trim like a, it's not really a bang, but I just trimmed it down to where it can just shade the side of my face because whenever I do my eyeliner or my eyebrow on this side, they never look right. But today my eyebrow is fine. It's just my eyeliner looks a little bit like clumpy on the wing part than it does on this side. And uh, <laughs> so it's still full. I wouldn't worry about it losing a whole lot of hair. Just don't brush it too much. There's some concealer stuck on the side of here and I'm trying to get that off. The concealer that I use, it dries so fast that I might have to just dampen this part. Oh, actually it doesn't frizz. And I was at work one day and I had to get some water from the water fountain. So as I was leaning over, some of my hair got in the water. And as you can see, it still looks very nice. Like the ends are still decent. It looks like I just took it out of the box, literally. And I'm just going to flip it this way so you guys can see what it looks like and it flows so nicely like it hasn't tangled at all yeah it does tangle but it's not anything that i would complain about and i'm sorry if you can hear my grandma and my aunt talking in the background like every time i try to record but it is what it is so if you're wondering what's on my lips i know this has nothing to do with the video yeah so i just got like some new liquid lipsticks and I have seven of them right now this is number 32 and it's a nice like ruby red and then I'm also wearing Milani Behave the clear lip gloss I've had this for a while so like all the information is rubbed off of it but it's just a clear gloss like you can find any of them um, at like Walgreens or whatever. I just use that for the shine and it just makes my lips look a lot thicker. And I lined my lips with Deep Purple or 808 Deep Purple by NYX. Um, you can't really see it right now because um, number 32 by, actually this is Me Now Cosmetics, sorry. I didn't even give you the name. This is a brand in China. I got these off eBay. You can also get them off AliExpress. I ordered 11 more, but yeah, this one, so far is my favorite one because it doesn't like crease and it just looks really nice it might I don't know how it looks for my skin tone especially on camera like I like it when I'm looking in the mirror but on the camera I'm not really sure you guys let me know like maybe this isn't a good color for my skin tone I'm not sure but we will see so far I like it but I think this is more of a fall color it looks really nice with the hair yeah, and what I'm trying to say is I really 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 like this wig and I would recommend it especially if you're using it for more than just like once in a while this is like a wig that I wear to work so I look professional it doesn't tangle that much it does tangle but it still maintains it's a uh, straight texture you can put heat on it I just chose not to I might and I may just put some more layers in it, but like I said, 
That phone call was me getting an interview for tomorrow. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly wrap this up because my camera battery is slowly dying. I will put the information for this wig down below. If you like my makeup, let me know. I'll do a tutorial on it for you. And any other questions or concerns you may have, you can just you know leave a comment down below. Thumbs up this video if you like the review. And I will see you guys in the next one. By the way, stay tuned for the next video because I will be doing a review on this pretty specimen that I just got yesterday. And I haven't given her a name yet. I haven't named this one either. I shouldn't have to. It came with a name. We'll see you next video.